It is so great to catch up with my next guest. We were just talking off air. It's been at least a couple of years since I've talked to Bobby Nash, who is back in action against LaRue Burley at XFC 45 on August 6th. Bobby, how the heck are you, man? What's up, James, man? Thank you for having me on. Super excited. Yeah, it's uh, great to catch up with you, man. And my God, you have been on a roll lately. Uh, just watching your last couple of fights, man. Uh, a ton of uh, three first round finishes, actually, uh, in, your, in your last couple of fights. I know the UFC run didn't go the way you wanted, but what's been some of the differences you feel like uh, in terms of this winning streak uh, heading into this fight? Well, a lot of it is I'm just way better now, man. I, I mean, I went to the UFC uh, like two, two and a half years into my career. So I was really, I was green. Um, I was a college wrestler. And as soon as I got in the UFC is when I started to learn about striking and started to learn about hands. And I, I, I my hands sucked, you know, I did, I couldn't throw, I couldn't throw, but I still did it, you know? Mm-hmm. And um, I'm finally, after about four or five years of really putting time into it, you're starting to see, uh, I'm, I'm reaping the benefits. So in the UFC, I, I kind of, I wasn't good. You know? <laughs> Not that I wasn't good. It's just, I'm definitely... <clears throat> significantly better now and i'm coming into my prime now you know i was a little immature mentally uh, i'm 31 years old now and i'm just i'm developing a game and i have an, a lot of confidence in myself now yeah and it seems like xfc has been a great fit for you really good matchups fighting consistently how happy are you, you made that decision because i'm sure you had other offers when you were a free agent i absolutely love uh, xfc man they treat me very well uh I, I really like what they're doing with the promotion they're signed with fox sports now you know they put me at main event i mean come on dude i mean how can i not be happy i'm gonna be headlining a show on national television i mean that's what an honor that is you know and uh i i couldn't speak any ho- more highly of uh <clears throat> xfc they take care of their fighters and you know uh I'm happy with it. Yeah, and I was going to ask you about that, getting that main event billing. What's been the feedback like from, because I know you got a lot of support, man, especially uh, where you're from in Michigan. Like, is, is that something you've noticed for this fight that people are really getting even more excited with the fact that you're headlining the card? Well, yeah, I mean, and it's going to be packed, dude. We're going to pack the Delta Plex in uh, Grand Rapids because I have a huge following in Michigan. You know, all my family, they're going to be there. All my uh, friends will be there. Um, it is going to be, it's, if you're going to tune in, it's going to be cool. Wait till you see when I come out. My fans are going to be electric. They're going to be loud. And uh, I've already talked to them. I'm like, like, listen, if you want to come to this fight, the best thing you can possibly do is get rowdy. Like, get loud. Let them know who you're here for. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun one, man. And let's talk about your opponent here, LaRue Burley. Uh, I think people remember he's fought in all types of promotions. 11-4 and four record. Uh, you know, can't beat that in terms of quality of opposition. How do you feel like you match up against him here? Stylistically, I think I match up very well with LaRue. He's very tough, man. He's got uh, some heavy hands in the beginning of the rounds. Uh, you know, like you were saying, he's fought, some, uh, he's fought at, at high levels. Uh, you know, he's no stranger to that, and he's fought some tough guys. He's got some good, credible wins on, under his belt, too. You know, he's going to be a game opponent. His last two fights in the hex gun for XFC were by finish. And, uh, you know, it's a guy that I'm definitely going to have to be on my A game for but that being said, uh, I know I'm ready, and stylistically, I match up very well with him. I'm, I'm very confident coming to this fight, and uh, I'm looking for another finish. Training camp, anything different for this camp? Who are you mainly working with uh, as far as uh, preparations for this upcoming fight? This camp is actually a lot different. You know, um, well, uh, in, in a lot of my training camps, I've been really focusing on my hands and on my speed and all that. In this one... I really want to get in really, really, really good shape. I want to be conditioned for this because when I watch LaRue Burley fight uh, in round one, he's pretty tough. You know, he's got heavy hands, but he seems to get tired. And if I can keep my gas tank up, you know, I'm hoping I can put him away in the first. But, you know, this is going to, he's a tough dude. Uh, I I think later rounds in the second and the third, you're really going to see me shine. I got a great strength and conditioning coach right now who's uh, getting my gas tank to uh, an elite level right now. And I think that's a huge uh, difference. Just diet and uh, conditioning is what I've been really focusing on for this one. Um, And, uh, you know, kind of on that note as well, how's the weight cut going ahead of the fight? Great. You know, my weight cut has never been too terrible. I walk around about 185, uh, hydrated, full. 
you know, so, um, you know, I'll get down to 180 and I usually just do a 10 pound water cut. So it sucks for like a day. A lot of people are like miserable for a week. I'm like, I feel shitty for like, like a day and then I'll hydrate, eat and I feel good. So we cut really ain't too much of an issue. Who's going to be in the cage with you that night as far as your cornerman? I'm going to have uh, Ariel Medina. A lot of people don't know him, but Ariel Medina is a, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, trains at Michigan Top Team. Great guy. Uh, man, one of the best grapplers I've ever grappled with. Um, I would have Darren Crookshank, but hey, he's on the card too. I was going to say, So yeah. I'm going to bring um, Ariel. I might have my buddy Ali Hamka, who's a, a, who's a um, Muay Thai fighter. And I'm thinking about uh, having my – oh, I'll have my brother Randy Nash in there. Just he gets my mental game ready, you know. He's, he's yeah, a little bit of everything in the, in the corner, which is uh, yeah, which is so great, man. Those will be my corners. How's this fight playing out on August six? What do you envision the fight? How do you envision the fight playing out? Uh, I envision the fight. Um, so I have been visualizing, and what I visualize is a flawless victory. You know, um, I really just want to dominate this fight. Every every aspect of the fight, I want to look good in the wrestling, in the conditioning, in the jiu-jitsu, in the striking. And I don't want to give too much of my game plan away, but I will be exciting. I will be electric. And, uh, you know, I'm always going to be looking for the finish, but a flawless victory. And what I mean by flawless, my game plan is to hit them and not get touched. Easier said than done. Yeah. But that's what I want. I don't want to be touched in this. So I'm working uh, – I'm really working on my box and popping in and out, coming in, coming out, coming in, coming out, being in range when I want to be in range. So, you know, you're just going to see, uh, you'll see the best I've ever been without a doubt. That's for sure. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. This, is this the final? I was trying to remember for the tournament in terms of the brackets and all that. So yes, this will be the finals of the tournament. My first two fights, uh, my first one was against Spencer Jeb, who was very tough. I had a spectacular performance with him. You did. I was was, very, and to was finish with, Spencer yeah. the way you did was very, very, very impressive. Honestly, I'm going to be real with you. I think that was the best fight in my in my career. Like I, I had a ton of respect for Spencer Jeb. He is very tough. And then um, I went in against uh, Ryan Dixon. And, you know, I got to finish. It was good. There's some things I really didn't like about that. I got hit a little too much, and I wasn't popping in, and I was kind of sitting down on my punches. I hit like a, like a truck, but, you know, there's a few things I didn't like in that fight. But got the job done against two very tough guys, something I was really proud of to get that win. And now going against LaRue Burley, uh, you know, he got his two wins. He looked really good. So I think it's, it, it makes for a very exciting matchup. Um, but one, one that, uh, you know, gets me up in the morning to train, you know? And again, winning a tournament like this gets, you know, on the, on the radar of anyone else. Is there like, what are the stipulations with your contract? If you win the tournament, are you automatically resigned to the promotion? Like what happens going forward? Not looking past August 6th by any means, but just, right. you know, the implications of the fight, obviously. So right now, if I, once I win this tournament, um, I am signed on an exclusive six fight contract. Nice. And, uh, which, which I'm, I'm fine with, you know, at first I was a little iffy about it. I'm like, ah, you know, ooh, uh, but at the same time, dude, Myron Malaki, the president and, uh, XFC is treating me very well. And you know, uh, I'm actually really impressed with like how everything's handled. They got the TV deal, how they're marketing, you know, I, I'm, I'm really excited within the next year or two to see where this promotion goes and uh and continues to grow you know i want to grow my brand and as my brand grows i'm hoping xfc will grow and I, i'm excited man i'm excited to you know be the face of this promotion xfc and you just hit the nail on the head there i think that's such a key thing like you're with a promotion that does a great job with production gets you good matchups you're active and the focus is on you like let's say you went back to the ufc you went to bellator chances are you're probably not getting on a main card right so at least with this you can build up your brand even more and then by the end of these six fights if all goes well there's going to be people you know lining up to probably sign you because you've done such a good job building your brand i'm assuming that's sort of the perfect you know long-term long game here right that is the idea, man. This is what I've been talking about, you know, because, you know, could I potentially go back to the UFC? Yeah, I could, but I'm going to get some generic contract that sucks, man. Yeah. I'm not going to, they're going to be like, hey, you want to fight in two weeks against this killer? Or hey, you want to do this? Well, I can fight for XFC. I can get on a tear. I can win these six fights and I can go the Michael Chandler route, right? Yeah, exactly. Or I can be like, hey, shove it up your ass. I'm going to stay with these guys that, that are cool, you know? I'm going to try. I think this right now is the best and most intelligent, uh, 
um, way to go for my career. I'm very happy with them. And, you know, if UFC comes, cool. If not, that's cool too, man, because I'm happy where I'm at. Absolutely. One other thing uh, we haven't talked about, I think, since the last time we spoke was I know you signed with Cage Side uh, for your management for with Liam, who I love Liam. He's one of these guys that isn't like a flashy manager, but he puts in the work behind the scenes, especially with guys like yourself and Brett Martin. Um, just, you know, sort of take me back to that time when you decided to sign with him and, and what Liam's been able to do, because I think that he doesn't get nearly enough credit in this industry. No, dude, Liam is absolutely wonderful, man. Uh, what he has done for my career, he, he legitimately cares. You know, I'm always on the phone with him, you know, and that's 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 something I'm really uh, happy about, too. It's like XFC, they care. Uh, Liam, they care. You know, earlier in my career, I had management. I had, you know, I was with the UFC. I was with all, all this stuff, and I just – I just don't think I just didn't feel like they they cared really as much as they do now. Like Liam, I, I'm actually my one year contract is up. I'm signing with him today. Oh, it was awesome! Up cool. Signing with him. I absolutely love Liam. He's a great dude. What a great manager he's been, and what a great person. And, and like I said, he cares. He comes to the fights, and he wants to genuinely see me uh, do well. And you know, you can't beat that when you have a guy who wants to see you do well. You want to get a promotion that wants to see you do well. I mean, come on. You know, I, I'm I'm very fortunate. I'm very lucky. Here. That's awesome. Uh, before we get out of here, uh, downtime. What's that looking like? Any, any playing any video games? Watching any TV? Anything like that? What's uh, what's downtime looking like? Downtime right now is just with my son. I got a three year old, three and a half year old son. That's Spent right. I was going to say because you have you have a son that's sim- my my son's going to be uh, four in September. So I know we, I knew we had kids around the same age. That's interesting. Yeah, I got a son. That's my downtime. Um, you know, I got to train in a couple hours, but we're we're thinking about going. Uh, it's called Belle Isle in Detroit. We might go out there and go to the beach and hang out. So yeah, just spending time with the family, man. I'm a family man, you know, and then uh, training and being a family man. So that's kind of the downtime. And making time for these interviews, Bobby. Uh, we'll definitely do one a little bit closer than last time. Uh, not not as uh, long of a gap here, but it's great catching up with you, man. Again, congrats on all your success. Looking forward to this fight. XFC 45, August 6th. You don't want to miss it. Anyone you want to thank, man? Any sponsors? Any social media? I'll give you the last word. Yeah, I do. I want to uh, make a shout out to uh, Bud Brothers Cannabis. They're wonderful, a great sponsor. I want to make a t- uh, Gittins Remodeling. That's my boy, Tommy Gittins. He's uh, been a huge supporter. Uh, I want to make a... Uh, Man, I have more. I feel bad. No worries. Here's what you do. Okay. Social media. You tell people to go to the social media, your Instagram, whatever. You're always posting stuff on there, right? Then they can go there. They can right. see the sponsors. Then everyone's good. Right. Perfect. And uh, yeah, just Michigan Top Team. Great gym. All my coaches. And uh, KHI Management, XRC, and James, I want to thank you. I mean, what an honor it is to get an interview. In my opinion, the best interviewer for MMA. I mean, it's thank an you, absolute man. honor. So thank you.